Several former employees at the Welsh Rugby Union have told the BBC about a toxic culture of sexism at the organisation. In one instance, a male employee at the WRU allegedly said he wanted to rape a female colleague. BBC Wales Investigates has also learned that a senior female business figure brought in to help run the WRU told the board it was sitting on a ticking time bomb and that Welsh Rugby had a deep-rooted problem with culture and behaviour. You may find some details in Warren Davis's report distressing. When Charlotte Wathen, an experienced sports administrator, joined the Welsh Rugby Union in 2018 to take women's rugby to the next level, she was warned by other women to expect occasional sexist comments. But what she said happened to her after she'd been there for about a year went much further. I had an experience of referring about me in, in, in an office environment, um, in, front of, in front of other staff, in front of other um, young female staff as well. Um, that they wanted to rape me. Um, and I remember I just I just left the room and I burst into tears and I, I felt sick and I thought, crikey, is, is this what it's come to? Any repercussions at all? No repercussions. The WRU said that Charlotte's claims were unsubstantiated following a thorough independent investigation. They say they can't comment further because they've since reached a settlement with her. Wow. Yeah. Tonya Antonazzi is conflicted, proud of her Welsh caps and international career, but the now Labour MP says she's been contacted by several women with concerns about alleged sexism and the culture inside the WRU. This is on the level of gymnastics. This is on the level of what's happened in, in cricket. What is happening now is that sporting governing bodies are not being held account. They mark their own homework. Sentiments echoed by Amanda Blanc, the head of Aviva and Sunday Times and Business Person of the Year. She quit as chair of the WRU's professional rugby board just over a year ago. Frustrated as her own business acumen was openly questioned and how she'd heard that another elected WRU member had said women should know their place in the kitchen and stick to the ironing. In a damning speech to the board, Amanda Blanc said the Welsh Rugby Union had a deep-rooted problem with culture and behaviour. And a wide-ranging review into the women's game was beyond disappointing and verged on being insulting towards women. With the Six Nations, for men and women just around the corner, rugby is in the spotlight like never before. The WRU says it's committed to equality, diversity and inclusion and progression of female rugby is a key strategic aim. Charlotte and others who say they've suffered hope their coming forward will be a wake-up call for the game. Wurra Davis, BBC News.